Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Mrs. Beaton's Book of Household Management of 1865, we're going to be making the toast sandwich. Now before we get into it, I made the toast sandwich over a year ago, but it was in the pre-plus-up era, so I thought let's revisit it because it keeps getting shared on social media and I keep getting tagged and I thought let's see if we can plus it up. The sandwich description indicates that it's good for invalids, which should give you a kind of insight as to why it's bland, but uh, let's give it a go. First thing we have to do is toast a slice of very thin bread. Okay, to make the sandwich, we take two very thin slices of bread. I took a regular slice of bread and cut it in half with this super sharp Mercer bread knife uh, and buttered it. Now we add salt, pepper, and a cold slice of toast. Okay, let's give this toast sandwich a go. Bready. Uh, <laughs> you have an interesting contrast of uh, textures in there. Salt and pepper and butter are good. I am going to plus this up, but I'm going to do it two ways. One, the way Mrs. Beaton suggested, and one, a very different way. Mrs. Beaton suggested that we put on a very thin slice of beef. For my other plus up, I'm going to add shawarma spiced butter to the outside, and I think you know what's about to happen here. That's right, the grilled cheese treatment. Okay, let's give this plus up toast sandwich a go. First plus up, Mrs. Beaton with a thin slice of beef. Um, it is pretty simple. It is pretty straightforward. Roast beef is delicious. Um, it, it, it's fine. That's fine. It's good. Okay, now for plus up number two, the uh, shawarma spiced butter and grilled cheese treatment. So it's interesting because you've got crispy, soft, crispy, crispy, soft, crispy, and that shawarma seasoning with the butter is ridiculously good. All right, so the original toast sandwich, interesting texture, Okay, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Plus up with the thin slice of beef, I'll give that a five. It was better, it wasn't spectacular. Um, with the shawarma spiced butter, I'm gonna bump that up to about a six, six and a half. That is actually quite tasty. I am, I'm probably gonna finish both of these realistically. Um, the shawarma butter, what I did is I took room temperature butter and mixed it with shawarma spices. Now the shawarma spice blend I use is from a chef, Chef Charnia, and I will put a link in my uh, link tree in my bio to his Instagram post where you can actually get the recipe for the spice blend because it is ridiculously delicious on anything and everything. Butter, chicken, uh, mushrooms, shrimp, you name it, it's delicious. All right, see you tomorrow. Welcome to... Mm. Huh? Huh? Mm.